You ready? Am I ready? I don't know. Are we ready? Come on, man. Give it up. Hello, everybody. I'm Chip Walton, the social media manager for Summit Brewing Company, sitting here with Jeff Williamson, the brewer of Unchained 14 Beer de Garde. Not to be confused with Beard de Garde. Jeff, tell us about this excellent beer. Um, when I had a chance to uh, brew this or uh, come up with a recipe for this, and I, they told me it'd be in the fall, uh, first thing I thought of was like harvest. I wanted something hearty, kind of malty. Um, so I thought um, a couple different things, but the one that kind of shone through the most to me was the Beard of Guard. So I kind of came with a recipe that's uh, got a nice malt character to it and the aroma, a good malt backbone, and then it finishes nice and dry so it's not overly sweet. It's going to kind of pair well with a lot of things that go with the fall, roasted meats and sitting outside on a nice fall day like today. And I don't know, bonfires, hanging out with your family and friends. It's uh, just over 7% alcohol, so again, nice and kind of warming, kind of keep you warm on the inside as it cools off outside. The Beer de Garde is a, is a French farmhouse ale. Um, it was, it's kind of really, literally means beer for keeping. So we brought in all kinds of Franco-Belgian malts um, from France and Belgium, and then um, loaded it up with a lot of French Strissel Spalt hops. Yeah. Um, they're low alpha acid, and so we are using well over 100 pounds in each brew just to kind of get our, our IBUs up. Um, although it's not a it's not a hoppy beer, it's only 26 IBUs. The focus is all the the good malts in there. It's going to be a lot of caramel and toffee, and as it warms up a little bit, you should get a little bit of cherry and fig. And we're kind of hitting in a little bit of chocolate this morning, which is awesome. Yeah, it adds a nice kind of bitterness even beyond what the hops supply is when the malts kind of do that little tawny, rusty, kind of rustic thing. Yep. Uh, it's your first Unchained. Yep. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Boom. This is awesome. It was, it was fun to, to make the recipe. It was fun to be there on the brew days and then sampling it off the tank and taking little samples here and there, see how the beer was progressing. So it's been kind of a cool process. And now it's all packaged up with the new branding, the new packaging. Summit, so this will be the first look for everybody yep. at the official new packages. So that's really cool, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea with the new unchained packaging is uh, every new batch, not only will the glassware change according to what we consider appropriate glassware, but the color as well. Um, in this case, we do have to go back to work, so we didn't think tulip glasses of 7.3 ABV alcohol beer would be wise. One of the cool things about making the beer to guard is that it kind of ties into Minnesota's French history. We always think of Minnesotans being Scandinavian and German, <laughs> um, but you look at all the names of the places that have been uh, of lakes and cities and towns like Duluth and Laquiparle and you know Father Hennepin was French and, and Nicolet was a Frenchman and of course you know. Uh, Pig's Eye Pierre Perrant, who founded St. Paul, was French too. And so this kind of ties into that old kind of French tradition we have here in Minnesota. So it was kind of cool to kind of combine a, a new beer with, a, with some French traditions and remind Minnesotans that, hey, we're French too. It's called a beer de garde. The words literally mean beer to be kept or beer that has been kept. Yep. So is this good for the keeping past the best by date of March of next year? This should totally be good until like next Thanksgiving. It's gonna change slightly in character as it ages, but if you take good care of it, kind of keep it in your beer fridge, in your basement, or wherever you got your, you know, storing some stuff, it will mellow and change a little bit, but I think it's got a, you know, a good cellar life of about a year, um, maybe a touch longer, but you know, totally be good for, I'm drinking it next Thanksgiving, if I can manage to hold on to some at my house. So grab a six pack for now, grab a six pack for later, It'll be out in late-ish October, mid to late October, and uh, really hope you guys enjoy it. We've got some events. Go to summitbrewing.com, check out happenings in our event calendar, because Jeff here is going to be releasing this beer throughout the Twin Cities with a series of fun events. Some are called Beat the Brewer, not just Meet the Brewer, but Beat the Brewer mm -hmm. at a one sport or another, right? Bowling? Yep. Mean? Bowling yeah. coming up November 1st. Um, at uh, Memory Lanes, October 28th, we'll be at the Nook for the official kickoff party, and I know they're going to do a special burger and maybe a French fry pairing. Um, so we'll see what happens with all that kind of stuff on the 28th of October. And then six packs and stuff hit the stores uh, last week of October also, I believe. Boom. C'est la vie. Beer de garde. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>